It's one of the most inhospitable places on our planet. Temperatures range from minus 87 to 15 degrees. It's the windiest continent. Less rainfall than the Sahara. One and a half times the size of the US with a winter population of zero. So how do we study the Antarctic and all its secrets? Sail drone provides an unprecedented opportunity to learn about these distant marine environments. Powered by wind and solar energy and equipped with an array of instruments to monitor ocean and atmospheric conditions. Two sail drones departed New Zealand in January 2019 on an epic voyage. The first ever autonomous circumnavigation of Antarctica. You've probably heard of global warming and climate change, but to understand why these things occur, we need to understand the effect of increased levels of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases such as methane and nitrous oxide in the atmosphere. Heat energy from the sun warms the surface of the Earth. Some of this heat is radiated back towards space. However, these greenhouse gases trap and reflect some of this heat back down to the Earth. And the more greenhouse gases there are, the more the Earth will heat up. This is known as global warming. In the Ice Age, CO2 levels were about 200 parts per million. But since the Industrial Revolution, this has doubled to 400 parts per million, with the burning of fossil fuels being the biggest reason for this enormous rise. This massive increase in CO2 in the atmosphere leads to warming oceans, shrinking ice sheets, rising sea levels and extreme weather events. Increased CO2 in the atmosphere also has an unexpected effect on our oceans. About a third of that CO2 is chemically absorbed by the world's oceans. But what effect does this have? Sail drone has helped scientists monitor and record research data to better understand the impact of the CO2 absorbed. When carbon dioxide reacts with water, it makes acid called carbonic acid. Can we actually measure this? Well, yes we can. If we were to compare samples of water from 250 years ago with ocean water today, we would see that the pH, the scale used to measure how acid or alkali a liquid is, is much more acidic. In fact, 25% more acidic than it was 250 years ago. And this is having a dramatic effect on both the plants and animals across the world's oceans. The change in seawater acidity disrupts ecosystems. It can affect whole food webs, especially in polar regions and coral reefs. Cold water corals are particularly vulnerable to ocean acidification. Over a billion people rely on the ocean as a food source and many jobs and economies around the world depend on fish and shellfish. Another impact of dissolved carbon dioxide is that it decreases the amount of carbonate in the sea. Carbonate is an important building block for skeletons and shells of many marine organisms, making it harder for them to grow and survive. But there are ways we can counter ocean acidification and global warming. By limiting our carbon footprint, we can all help to reduce carbon emissions and help to curb global warming. Sail Drone has set a great example by designing an unmanned vessel that combines wind-powered propulsion with solar-powered meteorological and oceanographic sensors to perform long-range data collection missions. We're increasingly using renewable energy sources such as solar and wind power to generate electricity. Have you thought about cycling, walking or using public transport as much as possible and turning off lights and other electrical devices when not in use? All these simple changes can have a big impact on the amount of carbon dioxide released into the atmosphere. By working together with a focus on creating a more sustainable world, we can reduce our carbon footprint and have a positive impact on global warming and reduce ocean acidification.